Hey guys, it's Carol with My Graphic Fairy, and I'm going to show you how you do the freezer paper t-shirt painting. I've been using the Tulip Soft Matte Fabric Paint, and this is freezer paper. I've cut it to the size of my mat. If you're wondering what it looks like, you can find it in your grocery store. You can find it at your grocery store by the wax paper and plastic wrap and tin foil and all that. Go ahead and get this loaded. There we go. And I am cutting my son a Transformers Autobot. Um, you want to do the custom setting, and I have been doing. Ooh, oh, that's fabric, okay. <laughs> da, 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 da. I have been using the washi tape setting just like if I was doing vinyl. It seems to work really good. Okay, and oops, I have the regular blade in. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is all now cut. I had a little bit of trouble removing the freezer paper from my Max. So just recently restuck them and pulled some of the plastic off. So I'm hoping I don't end up with some bleeding right here. But we will see. So there it is. And since I had all these little pieces, I used transfer tape to pick it up off the mat. Transfer tape, or it's the paper transfer tape. It actually works really good to get it off the mat and hold it all together. Uh, while I do all this, I'm going to have my son hold this. <clears throat> okay, make sure it's centered. My iron is currently heating up. And I just leave the transfer tape on it until I get it ironed down. And then I can peel it off and it actually... The last time I did this, it worked fine at holding it down. Oops. That's not straight. So it's going to be straight soon. What do you think? So, no, it looks good. <laughs> have to get second opinions. Oh, stay in there. Okay, now your iron needs to be on your highest setting, but don't have any, your iron needs to be on the highest setting, but not to have any water in it so you don't steam. And then once you do this, it melts to the shirt temporarily. Let go. Leave all that in place. Stay there. Stay, 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 so I can finish you up. Go. Let go. Okay. Now that I got that, make sure it's nice. No wrinkles underneath. All right, now you can finish. down. So you want to make sure you have all the edges sealed tight. Which is why you should not move the iron too much. to hope I don't bleed right there. This was my second cut and it's still ripping the plastic off. I 
I think that is good. So we're going to let it cool for a minute and then I'm going to put a piece of cardboard inside this so the paint doesn't go through the shirt to the back side. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. So now we have some of the black paint that I was showing you, the tulip soft mat out. And I'm just going to use a foam brush. just start dabbing around the edges make sure you get all those and you don't brush you dab only so if you brush then the paper can start lifting or you can pull the fabric out from underneath the paper and that is when you will end up with getting getting the paint the bleed under the freezer paper That is what you are left with to let dry. So you'll see the final product when it's done and dry. And good morning. Now that we're up and we let this dry overnight, we have peeled away the paper and this is the final result. Uh, that is how you do the freezer paper painting. <laughs>